a pleasant good morning to you dear students today we are going to learn a short and an interesting poem the name of the poem is the squirrel and the name of the poet is mildred bowers armstrong mildred bowers armstrong have you got it all right the poem is a fable you may be hearing this word fable first time now what is a fable i shall tell you a fable is a story in the form of a poem or a prose with a moral a fable often use animals as main characters so now you know what a fable is a fable is a story with a moral animal characters are used to teach a valuable lesson animals are also given personal qualities so they behave like human beings we shall now look at the poem very closely as i said it is a very short and interesting poem in the first line the poet says that the squirrel's tail looks like a question mark especially when it sits in an upright position but we usually don't say that a squirrel wears a tail then what do we say we say that a squirrel has a tail the squirrel also has a gray overcoat on its body here the poet uses the pronoun he for the squirrel do you know why remember the poet is using here a poetic device that is personification it means that the poet gives human qualities to the squirrel sometimes we see poets making animals behave like human beings is it clear then where did the poet find the squirrel he found the squirrel sitting on a tree in his garden what was he doing he was eating nuts sitting in an upright position as we know squirrels are fond of eating nuts they are also very naughty and playful by nature in the poem the squirrel started teasing the poet and his friends it shows that the squirrels are naughty and playful animals i am sure you have understood the poem now what could be the moral of the poem the poem teaches us that each person has his or her own individual talents no one is superior or inferior in this world